so as I've mentioned before, I have go-to products that I use on a daily basis to get my look put together right away. Um, these are my absolute favorite products, my absolute, I use them every single day, I can't live without them, products. I'm going to go over it one by one and do my makeup as I go along to show you how fast I do it and let's get to it. So I'm going to start with my primer. I've had this and I've tried to make it last as long as possible. It's Victoria's Secret Make It Last Prime and Setting Makeup Spray. So basically I prime first with this. I let it dry a little bit. Then I'll go ahead and take, like I said before, my Jerry G foundation. I make sure that I cover everything. Since right now I run out of primer for the eyes, I use this also as an eye primer. This doesn't give you a complete full coverage, but it gives you a nice coverage. And like I said before, it's really nice on the skin. Um, since I do want a little bit more coverage, I'll go over it with a little bit of the Cinema Secrets just to cover the areas where I have some, still have some like acne scarring, which is basically here on the cheek area. The colors are absolutely almost the same, so. And that'll give you a little bit more coverage. Sometimes I have, well, I always now have these because I don't sleep very much because the baby keeps me awake at night. So normally I will have um, a concealer with me. It's right over here, my concealer palette. But right now I really don't want to do that because I'm in a hurry. I'm gonna get my eyebrows done. Microblading, I don't know if anybody has heard of it. Um, I'm actually, I don't know if you can tell, my eyebrows are super uneven, so I'm going to get that done because I cannot shape my eyebrows on a daily basis, I just can't do it. So I'm gonna get them done and have it on all the time. <laughs> time is money, that's the key, that is the key. It's what I express in every video, time, time, time. Um, all right, then I'm going to use my e.l.f. Contouring and Blush pow Powder. I love this thing. The reason why is because it's a contour and a blush at the same time. So what I do is I first start with my contour. And like I said before, I'm not trying to do extremist things here. I'm not going to dot my face into a clown looking thing because there's no need and I don't have time. And to be honest, more is less. And guys, prefer that. Not that you're doing it for anyone else but yourself. But, you know, they never notice anyways. So, alright. So I did a little bit. Not too much. I don't want to go through it. Now I'm going to grab my blush brush and I'm gonna dab and blend it in with that. I like to press the pads of my outer fingers 
on my face so anything left over will just come off on my fingers and I just wash it away later see so and that would be it for that see looks pretty nice then like I said before um, I love my naked June palette it's amazing and I always have a go-to color and that is the tease today we're gonna do a little bit more because we have a little time we have a little bit of time so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use a booty call which is this color and I'm going to dab that a little bit here just a little bit not too much on my eyelid all right and then I'm gonna take my crease brush and I'm gonna go ahead and use the tease color, my favorite color in the whole world. And we're gonna bring it in and just in the crease and blend it upwards just a touch. The effect that we're going for here is just like a, a, sub, a subtle um, cat eye, which I will show you the end effects outside when I take a picture because the outside lighting, I don't know if you guys know, it's the best lighting. And then I will also make sure that I blend it in just a ton. You don't need a crazy amount of brushes. <laughs> like most of these artists online, you know, they are like, oh, this and this and this. No. If you are good with your hands and you know how to blend. All right, so there, we have our crease done. Now, my absolute favorite liner is Wet n Wild H2 Proof. And what I do is I have my hand already coordinated for this. I start in the middle, bring it out real quick, not too much, just a little bit. There we go. And the other side. Make it even, and there it is. All right. Now the last thing I do is, I've mentioned this before, it's my Honey Love from Jordana. I've had like probably 10 of these already. And I just put it on. Because unless I'm going out to like an extravagant feast or you know a girls night out or a date night I want to keep it simple I want to, my, my lips to be hydrated and I want to have a little bit of color but not like super crazy and this is the perfect color for that yep I would normally do a little bit of my eyebrows but I can't right now because I'm going to do the microblading. Um, and then last but absolutely not least is a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of highlight. I'm using a brush for you guys, but to be honest, I can just my finger. there a little bit of highlight on the nose just to give me like a little glow not too much because I don't want too much glow all right and last but absolutely not least is I spray again with my primer to make it last 
Oh, and I'm done. Yeah, I look amazing. I look beautiful. I look wonderful. So yes, that is it. That is my daily routine. A little bit more. Now, the last thing that I'm missing are is the mascara but i do that in the car i always put my mascara in the car i know it's dangerous but i do it at a red light so that's it that's all there is to my daily makeup a little bit more than what i showed you the first time uh, with my added hair extensions and then the last thing that i do before anything else is i put on my contacts so there we go Thank you for watching guys and I will see you next time.